guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a mushroom car mirror hanger and it's going to have a storage compartment inside. So you're going to be needing medium weight um, acrylic yarn in red and white for this project. And we're going to start with a magic ring and six single crochet in our magic ring. Two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to close up our ring and single crochet or slip stitch, sorry, back into our first single crochet. And then we're going to increase around so that we should have two single crochet in every single crochet that we now have, making us have 12 stitches around by the time we are at the end of this round. And for our next round, we're going to have a repeat, which is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase in the second stitch. An increase in the first stitch and, or sorry, one single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase in the second stitch. And when you've worked your way around, you should have 18 stitches in this round. And so you should have 18 stitches around. So now we're just going to single crochet around three. And you're going to want to make sure that you get one in every single stitch so that you still have 18 by the end of this row. And we're just going to keep working in this manner in for a couple rows and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. After you've completed four rounds of single crochets, we are ready for round eight. And for this round, we're going to be making four single crochets. Two, three, four, and then followed by a decrease. And this should get you down to 15 stitches around. And then we're going to single crochet around for the next four rows. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna complete those and then I'll be right back. And after you finish those four rounds of single crochet, our next round is going to be three single crochet followed by a decrease. So three and then a decrease. 
and this should take us down to 12 single crochet in a round. And then we're going to single crochet around for the next four rounds again. And I'll be right back once I have finished these next four rounds. All right, so what we're gonna do from here to make our frill is we're going to chain two and then we're going to double crochet twice into every single stitch around. I'm going to have to attach a new yarn here. To finish this off, and then we'll slip stitch into the top of our chain two. Just try not to pull that out. Perfect. So we're going to make a chain two. And then we're going to continue with making another two double crochets and then followed by one double crochet or one followed by two, it doesn't really matter. But we're just going to be increasing in every other stitch around, so. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one off camera and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. And then once we finish that round, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of our round and fasten off. And you're going to want to, of course, weave in all these ends. So I'm just going to tie this one off quickly. And then we're going to attach our yarn again right on the edge of where we started. So I think I'm going to go right here. Just through one loop is fine. It's not like we're going to be putting a lot of weight into our basket. We're just going to bring our yarn through here. And then I like to slip stitch it to tie it on. And then we're going to chain about 80 or so stitches. You're going to want to check. You'll probably have to measure to see how much will or how long you'll need it to fit around your mirror. But I'm going to be doing about 80. It's better to do it a little bit longer versus shorter. because you can always tie a knot in it and you'll be all good again. So I'm just gonna finish this chain off camera and then I'll be right back to show you what to do next. And then once you have the chain done, you can cut your yarn off. You'll wanna leave a couple inches and probably a bit longer than what I did. So like that, and then we'll set this to the side and grab our red yarn or whatever color you want to make the cap of the mushroom. And again, we're going to start off with a magic ring. There we go.
And we're going to make eight single crochet into our magic ring. And then we'll close up the ring and make a slip stitch into our first single crochet. And I want my mushroom to have a little bit of a point on it, so I'm going to go ahead and make a round of single crochet before I start increasing. Feel free to manipulate the cap of the mushroom in any way that you want to get your desired shape, but if you want to do it exactly the way I'm doing it, then we'll make a round of single crochet. And we should still have eight single crochet by the time we have completed our round. And one more. Perfect. And then for our next round, we're going to increase around. So we should go from eight single crochets to 16. One, two, and this one. And then for our next round, we're going to do our repeat of one single crochet followed by an increase in the next stitch. One single crochet and then an increase. And this should take us up to 24 stitches in a round. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that off and then I'll be right back. And for our next round, we're going to make one round of single crochet. And we should keep the same number of 24 stitches in this round. And then for our next round, we're going to be having another repeat of two single crochet followed by an increase. And then this should get us up to 32 stitches in a round. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that and then I'll be right back. And for our next round, we're going to be making three single crochet followed by an increase. Two, three, and then an increase. And then this should get us up to 40 stitches in a round once we have completed this round. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off camera and then I'll be right back. And for our next round, we're going to be making four single crochet. Followed by an increase. And this should take us from 40 stitches up to 48 stitches around. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this round and then I'll be back for the next one. So for round 9 and 10, we're just going to be single crocheting around, keeping our same number of 48 stitches in a round.
So I'm gonna just finish the next two rounds and then I'll be right back. All right, and now to end off the mushroom cap, we're just going to make one slip stitch to make it even and then tie it off. And now it's time for the dots. So you can do the polka dots in like a couple different ways. You can use felt circles and glue them on or you can crochet little white circles or I'm just going to use a needle and some white yarn and sew little dots just onto it if that makes any sense kind of like sprinkles so I'm just going to be using the regular yarn like we were using before and a darning needle thread it through and just make sure you don't pull it all the way through either and I'm just going to make them pretty small so like one row Kind of like that. And then I'll just work my way around the hat. And you don't want to, if you're doing it this way, you don't want to pull it too tight or it's just going to sink into the hat. I like it if they stand out a little bit more anyways, but. So then we're going to be joining it to our mushroom cap. And as you can see, I've stretched holes in here already. But you can do that with a needle, or you can just stick your crochet hook through, grab it in the loop so that you don't untie it, and just pull the whole chain through. Well, not the whole chain, but a decent amount. And then go to the opposite side, which I think this is a bit more straight across on the other one. We'll just do the same here, stick in the loop, and pull it through, like so. And then it's go we're going to attach this to the other side of our cap. And you might want to make sure that your chain isn't twisted too badly. And then we're going to stick it through one of the stitches. And as you can see, this one is sticking out a little bit more. All I did was I just took my darning needle and I pulled up one of the loops in the stitches just to make it easier for me to stick my crochet hook through. And then we'll just bring our yarn around to slip stitch the chain onto it. Tighten that real good. And then slip stitch it to tie it on. And we're going to have to weave in all these ends, but I'm just gonna stick them into the center for now just to show you guys how this looks. And just make sure to kind of have an even amount of chain through both sides. And put it on slide it right down and then as you can see we have our nice little frill right in the center so yeah and then whenever you slide it up and you can stick a lipstick or something in there so I'm gonna go ahead and weave all my ends in and then I'll be right back so for the coasters we're going to need to make another magic ring and then chain three And then we're going to make 11 double crochet in our circle. Two, three, four, five. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain three. And then we're going to chain three again, <clears throat> and we're going to increase our count. But of course our chain three will count as one, so you don't need to increase into the first stitch. I don't think, <laughs> let me just count real quick. Actually, yes. So we're going to increase around. So we're going to make two double crochets in every single stitch around. And then we're going to make one more in this last stitch where the chain three is in. And then slip stitch into the top of the chain three once again. <clears throat> so that's what you should have so far. And then we're going to chain three again. And we're just going to count that as one, or as our first double crochet. And then we're going to increase into the next single, or double crochet, sorry. <clears throat> and then again, we're going to do just one in the next stitch, and then increase in the next stitch. So you should have had 24 after the last round, and after this round, you should have 36. So I'll go ahead and finish that off camera. And then I'll be back to show you what to do next. So after you finish this round and slip stitched again to join, we're just going to fasten off right now. And then to make it, you'll want to measure off of your own car, of course, but, and I'm using my sunflower one for measuring, and it's just a little bit smaller. And I thought one thing that would be cool would be to make a white circle around the edge. If you want to leave it all red, you can. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching my white yarn shortly after the end here. And I'm just going to make a round of single crochets around the outside. Kind of like the mushroom frill. So we're just going to keep the same amount of stitches around the end as we single crochet around. And you'll want to make these looser to keep it from curling in on itself. And then once we've made our round, we're just going to slip stitch back into our beginning and fasten off.
And of course, you're just gonna wanna tie them all back down into the center before you cut them off to make them less noticeable. But I'll do that later. And then for this, you're just gonna want to also make little dots on it like a mushroom cap. I'm gonna be using just the extra string and do it the exact same way as I did for the mushroom. But again, you can use felt or crochet little circles, but that will stick up and make it less flat for your cup to sit on. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that off and then I'll be right back. And then after you've gotten the dots on, your coaster is ready to be used. So you'll just wanna make as many as you need for your car. And there you have it, a quick and easy pattern on how to make some mushroom accessories for your car. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.